Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 Pro Dock. Now as you can see in the background I've just bought a new computer that is an M4 Mac Mini and they come with three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back and not much else, there's Ethernet, HDMI then you get two USB-C's on the front but other than that there's not really many ports so I've bought this so that I get some legacy ports so I can actually plug things in because I'm quite an old fashioned person. I still have a lot of things that are USB type A, I need to plug in SD cards. And yeah, I thought I would pay for the privilege of being able to plug things in. It's kind of silly that you have to. I could have bought something cheaper than this that would have done the same thing, but this is sold through Apple. It's CalDigit, I've heard of them before, they're quite a reputable brand, so I thought, I might as well get this. So my new computer is just the base spec M4 Mac Mini. So that's what, £600? This by itself was an extra £300. So £300 for the privilege of plugging things in. But let's try not to get too caught up on that. And let's just unbox this thing. So as you can see on the front, that is what the front looks like. We get two USB-Cs on the front. We get a USB-A headphone jack, normal and micro SD card and as you can see it's silver so it should match the Mac aesthetic. On the back it tells you all of the technical specifications so we get three Thunderbolt 4s, three USB-C, five USB-A, SD card reader, micro SD card reader, display port, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, front combo audio jack, rear audio jack and as you can see they're all there if you want to have a look. So in the box we get the dock, we get a Thunderbolt cable, we get the power supply, power cord and some rubber feet. Now the system requirements are Mac OS 13 or above or Windows 10 with the 20H2 update and that is pretty much all you need to know. The seller version of this on the CalDigit website which isn't just the Mac one, I think it's a slightly different colour although I'm not too sure but I think they basically do the same thing, although I may be wrong about that. But this is the one I got just because Apple sells it, so that made it easier for me. There you can see what the front and back looks like. So we get, I think it's an extra 18 ports. So that is pretty good. So let's stop talking and actually unbox this thing. I think this is a really weird box because it doesn't really seem to have a correct way up. No matter which way you have it. It just doesn't seem right. I can't explain. It just doesn't seem like there's a front of the box, but that is irrelevant. Let's just open this thing up if I can work out how to do it. There we are. So first up here is the accessory box. I do quite like this packaging, by the way. How do we get in here? That lifts up just like that. And what do we get in here? So it looks like it has quite a chunky power brick, which isn't a problem. Very very big actually but a nice chunky cable on that so it seems like a decent quality here is the bit that plugs into the wall it looks like we get two power cables actually we get the uk three pin and we also get whatever that one is i don't actually know but that is quite cool that they include two i'm guessing it's because they sell it in lots of places it's easier for them to just include it all then we get a little paper bag and in here we get a slightly scrunched up piece of paper telling you that there are optional feet you can put on it because you can have this either stood upright or on its side so depending how you want to do it you can stick the feet on. They kind of just look like hot glue sticks of course they're not but that's what they kind of look like and we do of course get two of those and that is everything in that packet and finally here is our Thunderbolt 4 cable it's not actually that long, it should be long enough for most people's setups. So now let's look at the main thing, the dock itself. This is the bit that has bankrupted me the most. Now, I've never actually seen one of these in person before, but that is quite a nice box. I do like that. And it is wrapped in paper. That is now the modern way of wrapping things, which is nice to see. Certainly better than having plastic. So let's open this. Like, one thing I don't like about paper is it tends to rip, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, it ripped, but oh well, I doubt I'll need to keep the paper. 
and there we are there is the dock but we do get one other thing in the box and it looks like we have the quick start guide so this has some of the frequently asked questions on it which is a nice thing to include and there's some tips and tricks on there as well on the back it tells you how to set it up how to authorize it on mac os and how many displays you can connect now i've got two 4k displays one of them is currently plugged into the HDMI port on the back of the Mac and I'm hoping to plug the other one in via display port to this and I think that should work perfectly fine. Alright, so I've just plugged the dock in, I've put it on its side because that's how I'll probably have it. I've not put the feet under it yet, but I'll do that once I've decided what I'm actually doing. So I've plugged the power in, I've plugged the Thunderbolt cable in and then this is what I was saying about the Mac Mini. There really isn't many ports on there at all. Now you could option these computers to have 10 gig ethernet. This one just has the one gig, but then this dock has 2.5 gig. So I was gonna plug in a wired connection, plugging it into this would give me 2.5 instead of one. So that is pretty cool. So before I plug my second monitoring, because I've only got one working for now, let's boot up the computer and see if it's even recognized. All right, so I've turned the Mac on, as you can see, and we do have a white light on the dock. And unlike the quick start guide said, it didn't give me any prompt to give it permissions. And it seems to just be working as standard. Maybe that's because I'm on the latest version of Mac OS. It just knows to work. Although if yours doesn't, just follow the prompts in the manual and it should work just fine. So to test it, I've just plugged in this external SSD into one of the type A ports on the back. This is what I store all my in progress videos on. As you can see, it's showing up on the desktop. So let's just open this and see if it actually works. So my MX Master mouse video, here's some of the clips. Does that play? Yeah, looks like it's actually working so let's now plug in my second display and see if that shows up all right so i plugged it straight in and it showed up straight away so yeah looks like this thing is now fully working okay so that is where i'm going to leave it for this video this was a very straightforward setup it simply is plug in and off you go so i've now gone from having pretty much nothing i can plug into my new mac to now be able to plug in everything that I need. So this is definitely great. Yes, it's expensive, but it should do everything I need it to. And it blends in with the Mac, so it will look nice on my desk. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was interesting in some way. I'll see you in the next video, which will probably also be related to this Mac setup in some way. So if you're interested in seeing the whole process of how I've switched from using a PC to using a Mac on my main setup, make sure you stay to see that. So thank you again, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.